Express yourself. Hardly to have aged at all. Really? One never discusses a woman's age, Michael. Would have hoped I taught you better. That's Emily Blunt taking on Julie Andrews' iconic role of Mary Poppins as she reunites with a now grown up Michael and Jane Banks, played by Ben Whishaw and Emily Mortimer, and Mary Poppins returns a long awaited sequel which may not be as super califragilist as espialidocious as the original, but it's still a fun time. I'm Chris Zweig. Let's take a look. In this sequel, the Banks family is under financial debt at the risk of losing their home. So Mary Poppins, apparently keeping her youth and beauty, arrives to look after Michael's three kids, and like the original, she keeps them in check while introducing them to a world of magic. How'd you do that? Do what? I may have been annoyed by some of the dialogue in Mary Poppins Returns, but once I saw the well-choreographed musical numbers, colorful characters, traditionally drawn animation, and pure faithfulness, my problems basically disappeared. Credit must go to director Rob Marshall for working so hard to keep the spirit alive without any generic cliches, and credit must also go for Emily Blunt for keeping Mary Poppins' dignity. Check it out! Well, that's my positive feedback on Mary Poppins Returns. If you like this review and other reviews coming up, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and my written reviews are at www.cjatthemovies.com. I'm Chris Zweig and I'll see you at the movies.